<laughs> All right. Welcome to Two Beards Reviews. Welcome to Wrexham, episode eight, The Grind. Let's go. <laughs> G'day, Sheila's beer brethren, fuckheads, and just all around legends. We are here for another week of Welcome to Wrexham Reviews. Uh, this week, we have episode eight, The Grind. Uh, very interesting episode. Very, very interesting. interesting. Um, it was a very, very interesting one this week. I think it was one of those ones where it was a roller coaster of emotions in the sense that we saw some sad moments we saw some you know feel good moments and um we also saw uh our beloved club rise in the ranks in february yes that's right the big massive february run and geez i remember when this was all unfolding and how crazy things got and this was really the craziest part of the season and i think having lived through it and watching it on the documentary it kind of I just something about it just failed to connect with me on this one. Um, I don't know because uh, they had a whole heap of games they had to rush over. Um, and they did obviously touch on the point with Notts County. Um, but there was a lot of stuff in the episode that did not need to be in the episode. Um, yeah. I, I think you know, it, they're talking about the grind, but then they're talking about you know some dude wanting to have a, you know, better, better family life and stop drinking and all that, which is great. But what's Amazing. that got to do with the grind? What's that got to do with February? You know, mm. like th this stuff that probably didn't really need to be in that episode because this was all about that big run. Um, mm. And I love where they went with it. I love that, you know, they had the Will, Will Ferrell in the episode, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, and um, I remember, I remember when that happened, man. And like, just like, and I feel like a, a lot of this now is like, it's just these big moments that happen. And obviously it was a big season with a lot of moments, but it's these big moments that you go, shit, I remember watching this, you know, fucking 3am mm. over my phone or, you know, things like that. But I remember seeing Will Ferrell and I genuinely thought I was having one of those fever dreams where I was like asleep. And you think you, it's actually happening, but it wasn't. No, no, it it happened. Um, so to see Will Ferrell there was pretty pretty good. And again, like I said, it was it went from lighthearted to 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 almost sad when we touched on, you know, Anthony Ford, um, mm -hmm. the beautiful man that he is. Also, just BT Dubs. What a, what a stunning man, by the way. Like I'm, I, I'm what I'm married happily married with my wife however many years but i can mm. admire a good looking dude when I can. But that man has got it, and uh, good job. Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah. I remember at the time when all that happened, there was a lot of speculation, like what's going on. We knew it was some family yes. stuff, but it was That's never right. announced. So I really appreciate the club showing this or, or the documentary showing this side of it. So we got to see and, oh, my heart broke for him. Yeah. And his, and I mean, his wife had just been there since he was 18, um, being, you know, from club to club, being at Wolves and, you know, like learning parts about that. But like you said, good on the doco for covering that, but also good on them for allowing that to be so open. Um, you know, when mm. his, and I, I forgive me, I've forgotten his, her, his wife's name, but she was, when she started tearing up, I just, I, yeah, I, I broke, like I was like, right. Like, and it's because yeah. it was a raw, real moment because she, as, she, as you could tell, she said, sorry, then she, sorry, guys didn't mean to get emotional. Sorry. You know, she says that at the end and that's a reaction of someone who didn't plan on feeling that vulnerable. She mm. planned on talking about her husband and about, you know, having Patty and, you know, but to have a baby born two weeks later to have your brother with leukemia and then to have your wife a couple months later, have a brain tumor. Um, it, it's, it sounds like what a bad a situation. Yeah, it just sounds like a bad soap opera. Like, a, like, and what I mean by that is, you know, they always chuck all of these bad things in one episode, and you're like, that hurts. Like, yeah. but it would never happen in real life. But See, it does. So there were things did. like there were things like that which really, really got to got to you. Which, yeah. You know, made that connection with the players, which is it's just great. Yeah. And then, you know, no disrespect to Sean Winter, but I think that side of the story probably didn't need to be in that episode probably could have been in one of the other episodes 
Yeah, it didn't yeah, feel and that's right. the thing. It just felt separate. And yeah, you know, I'm not trying to not trying to bag the bloke, but I just think that that storyline didn't belong in that episode, and that's Agreed. probably brought the the rating down down for me. Um, the games Fair. were great. You know, Fair. The, <laughs> the games. Well, we finally great. covered it. We finally covered. Sorry to interrupt, but for, but basically, we finally covered games and what i'm talking about is not just one or two games losses we only had a couple of losses and it seemed like that's what we were fixating on at the start of this season and made me go did we win the league or were we just shit like what the hell happened but then we finally covered this run of february and some of those games like was it um was it older shot or was it altringham was it, or the one where sam dolby did the header four three anyways there's that game in there uh where we win the header in the like dying seconds of the game to win four three epic game that was brushed over um again like you said maybe if sean's part was put into another episode maybe counter countering um a player who's going through mm. i guess a similar thing and i think that's what they were trying to do they were trying to put the juxtaposition of you know someone like anthony ford what he's going through, it's a grind to 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 work. And then he had to obviously take leave um, to someone who's grinding to fight alcoholism. So as we talk about it, I'm starting to understand the relation to it. But I think, like you said, it could have been possibly moved to another episode. Um, but having Will Ferrell in it, I guess, needed to happen in this one purely because, one, it happened in the month of Feb. Two, it needed to have some lighthearted feel or we'd walk away just shattered. Um, yeah. So... Definitely, definitely a good call though. I think maybe it could have been, you know, timelines have been moved before is what I would put it as. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So look, overall, it was a, a an enjoyable episode. One that I, you know, definitely would watch again. Um, but I just think there was a little bit of disjointedness with the storyline with the two different things, obviously, um, with the grind and then obviously what game went on, I still didn't feel that connection there. So um, I think Rousey's rating for this episode, is going to be a seven out of 10. <laughs> you know what, Rousey, like the more and more I think we're opposites, the more and more I realize we're actually probably just the same person because I was thinking seven as well. Um, my reasoning behind that is f- pretty similar. It did feel a little bit disjointed in the sense that, you know, obviously February was a bit of a rush and I think that's what they tried to get across. And I think they achieved that. What was it? Nine, was it nine games in like, yeah, it was just stupid amount of games in a, in a short month. And it was crazy. It was hectic. And they definitely showed that. I think, again, like you said, maybe the, maybe even the Anthony Ford one could have been put, brought into another, another episode. So we could maybe isolate that a bit more and focus a bit more on that. But out of the end of the day, seven for me, agree. I think it was really good in terms of enjoyable. I definitely could watch it again. But in terms of what we've experienced so far and the very high bar that we have, um, we can go into that when we talk about the other episodes. <laughs> All right, exactly. So, guys, if you like this type of content, let us know down below. Reach out to us on Twitter. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And um, we would definitely love to hear from you and uh, your thoughts. Comment down below. We will see you on the next episode of Welcome to Wrexham Reviews. Toodles. Toodles. <laughs>